Hi everyone, welcome back to the Drupal Academy. In the last video, we have seen how to create the custom module using the chat GPT in a Drupal 10. Now in this video, I will show you how to create a custom form using the chat GPT. So for that, just go to the chat GPT and in the message, you can type your requirements like what type of form you want and how many fields you want in your form. After generating the code by the chat GPT, we will test that form. Will that works or not? So I will type the message, create a custom form in a Drupal 10 and add three fields in the form is first name last name and address also we want the validations for those fields so we will add the message like also add validations to fields to accept characters and space after submitting this form, print the fields data. Also create route to access this form. Now press the enter key and we will check after that it will generate the forms as per the our requirement or not using the chat GPT. Here you can see the form generation is started. The form code is generated by the chat GPT now. We will review this code. So first step is uh, it was mentioned that to create the custom directory for the module that is custom form example it will be the module name and after that create this .info.yml file. So but we want this model for the Drupal 10. So the 10 is missed. We need to change it to the core version requirements to the 9 or the 10. Next file created is dot model file. So it is empty file and after that the form is created. So form name is custom form example form.php. So these two classes are added form base and the form state interface and this is the namespace. So in the class which extends the form base. First function is the get form ID where the form ID is mentioned. Next is the build form. In that form the three fields are created. First name, last name, address and the submit button. In the submit form these fields are retrieved from the form and uh, displayed it in the message. But the validate form function was not added. So our requirement was to add the validations to this field to accept character and spaces. So we will ask again chat GPT to share the code for the validate form function. So we will write you miss validate form function for the validation. Now the, again the form is generated by the chat GPT. Here you can see now the validate form function is added. In that function the input field was checked with the only accept the characters and the space otherwise it will show the message. So these validations are added for the all three fields. Now we will check if this form works or not by integrating this form in our model. In the last video I have already created this custom model. So we will integrate this form in the same model. For that uh, first we need to create this file inside the src form directory. So in the src directory we will create the new directory name as the form. 
inside this directory we will create the form file and uh, name it as a custom form example form.php now copy this code and paste it here so we need to change this model name because our model name is a custom user info so change it to the custom underscore user underscore info save the file now we will create the route so route code was also provided by the chat gpt we will copy this route and go to our routing.yml file and paste it there so again we need to change this model name to our model name and also in the form path as well we need to add the our form path with the model name save this clear the cache so the command to clear the cache using rush is rush cr the cache is cleared successfully now we will access this form on this url slash custom form example so go to our website and add this url and press the enter so here you can see the form is created as per our requirements the three fields are added first name last name and the address now we will add the some text and we will add the numbers as well in the first name So here you can see we are getting the error message like first name should contain only letters and the spaces so we have added the numbers that's why it is not accepting now we will submit this form and we will check if the form data will be displayed in message or not so here we are getting the error uh, we will check what is the issue Uh, I think this Drupal set message function is deprecated. So we'll check in the logs as well. W dot show what is the error. So here we are getting the message call to undefined function Drupal underscore set underscore message and we will add the same error message in the chat GPT. Let's see if it will provide the alternate function or not. Now the function is changed to the Drupal color color messenger and the add message. I will copy this and replace this with the our function again now go to the form and try to submit this so here we are getting the fields data in the message first name last name and the address so that's it from this video we have successfully created the custom form using the chat gpt in a drupal 10 there might be some issue in the code like we have seen in this example it has provided us the deprecated function so we need to take care of those things i hope this video is helpful for you please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more drupal related content if you have any doubts or query please put them in the below comments thank you for watching and see you in the next video